Hi beautiful people. Welcome back to your girl channel Sarah's House of Flavor. I hope my lovely people are just having a great day or if it's not you're watching me, I hope you all are just having a great night and as always welcome in my kitchen. Today I am going to do for you some nice Jamaican style steam fish. So you have to sit, you have to relax and stick around also to see how I do this dish. Alright, so let me go over and show you all that you will need in doing this Jamaican style steam fish. So let's go. Here I'm using some carrot and I'm cutting my carrot in small pieces guys I love steam fish mm. just even just the thought about it mm. it just make my mouth get really watery can't do steam fish without carrot guys no that's not steam fish at all so I'm just cutting my my carrot guys in um julienne strip all right all right so that's our carrot so we have our okra here and as you can see maybe a lot of people don't know what is okra like person from different countries but this is the okra i am going to go ahead now cut off the bottom of the okra guys and this is what give your that um your steam fish that nice mm, taste and okra is really good for you too all right so let me start cut my okra here i'm cutting them in small pieces all right boy these are some nice okras too I like the small okras, they, they are not um, they are not so hard as the, the bigger ones. Alright, so let's cut here. And you cut your okra in whatever size you desire. Mm. You can see the slime here and this is what give that nice texture to the steam fish guys it's not steam fish without okra right all right so now i have my onion go ahead cut my onion not gonna cut them too small here all right nice size So that's our onion. And guys, I'm using a piece of sweet pepper. You don't have to use this. This is optional. I, I like the flavor. So I'm going to add it to my steam fish. Okay. Right, so guys, there you go. These are all the vegetables that I am going to use. I have my scallion and my thyme, which, you know, I'm not going to cut them in small pieces but just put them here all right and then i have some pimento some garlic which i'll be adding to the steam fish also all right so guys as you can see here i have a nice fish here look at it nice size and everything i already scale it and clean it up so now I'm going to add some salt and pepper along with some fish seasoning. So look at that guys. So it's all clean up. Inside is nice and clean and everything. Mm -hmm. So now I am going to add, put some salt here. Not much salt. Alright. Some pepper. And 
this type of fish I like guys I like when my fish is the big fish can't bother with the small fish them all right And I'm gonna use some Maggie fish season. This give your chicken and, and your fish. Oh Lord, very low on the salt because for this, it contains salt, a lot of salt too, all right? So just clean it up there. So I'm getting all the season on the fish, the inside. All right, I'm just gonna make a cut right here so that the season can marinate inside the fish i always see my mom doing this so we just continue to do it all right okay so we're good to go with seasoning now all right so i'm just gonna put that aside so now the pot is on the fire i go ahead and add a small amount of oil along with some butter so i'm gonna add my garlic here let it give that nice flavor from the garlic along with the rest of the seasoning so here some onion get the onion in there whoa it smells a nice flavor then I'm gonna add my carrot so these are harder to cook these are harder vegetables to cook for the okra, that's the last thing you're going to add to your steamed fish. Right, just give this a nice stir here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and add the Irish potato that I didn't uh, remember to cut up, guys. But that's how it goes sometimes. All right, and then give this a nice stir here. Mm. You can smell the flavor from the onion and the garlic. All right. So I'm gonna allow this to just simmer for a minute, and then I'm going to add my fish. All right. So the next time you see me, guys, the fish is going to go in the pot. So now I am going to put my fish in the pot. But look what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to put the fish at the bottom right here. Then I am going to place the, the vegetable over the fish. All right. Then I'm going to add my coconut milk. Just pour it over your fish like that. Mm. and here now I am going to add the scallion and the thyme alright so this is the season from the fish so just Add a little water there but look at this just put the vegetable on top here so the juice and everything will cook our fish all right so let's cover here and let the simmer down for a while and then when you come back guys you will see the fish okay guys so now you can see the fish is bubbling up here yeah man it a bubble up but it's not ready as yet all right i have some more ingredients just to give it that finishing touch and then mm, but man if you smell this fish whoo smells so good all right so the next time guys i'll be adding the okra and the rest of the seasoning all right guys so now mm, Guys, whew. I can smell the flavor coming from my kitchen, guys. So as you can see here, fish is almost ready. Yeah, man. So I'm going to add the okra now. 
add the okra here. Wow, you can see the sauce is getting thick. So we're just going to leave this nice. Mm. My, 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 my. Guys, it smells good. I'm going to add also the, the sweet pepper. And I have a piece of pepper here, guys. I'm going to add it too. I have to be careful with the, the heat because these peppers, are, they, are, they are hot. All right, let's place it on top there. Add my crackers here, guys. Just putting them over here. Whoa. All right, they smell really good. This one here, and that's it. And the sauce, you just pour it over your crackers like this. This is the bomb. Yeah, man. This is the bomb, guys. The okra on top there, and you can see. You see the the sauce. See that texture that we're looking for. So that is the the source of the okra. The okra allow it to have that nice. We say slimy, but it's good slime. All right, so I'm going to leave this here now just to simmer down for a minute and two, and then that's it. All right, guys, so as you can see now, my steam fish is ready and ready to eat. Guys, this is so good. It smells good. It looks good and I know it's even going to taste good so guys I hope you will go ahead now and try out this recipe to see more of my cooking you have to subscribe to my channel so subscribe to Sarah's house of flavor click on that bell so when your girl upload all her new videos you will be notified and as always guys it's a pleasure having you in my kitchen with me and please be safe walk good and god bless you all and i see you soon in sarah's house of flavor all right